You know what? I no. I have to say no. Rick face to face has always been good to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Saying that first, when I hear that, it sounds like a little disappointment from him because they're saying you know now they could have twisted it to him and arm this different way. And they will sit just now. We begged him and we told him we'd pay him. He just didn't want to have nothing to do with this thing and blah blah blah. It sounds like a little bit of someone whose feelings were hurt there. Sure. Now, being a disappointment or embarrassment that he's been That's in, his quote, an embarrassment. Well, okay, let's just say this. Who really is the bigger embarrassment in this business? Hmm. And that's all I'll say. Yeah. You know, is it someone who, like me, has only had really only one you know, thing over my head that was really not my fault? Or him who's had a cast of stupid things he's done his whole life? Um, but on top of on the other side of it, he's a He's a great entertainer, you know, for what he is. But for him to, you know, have been that jealous, it could have been a lot of things. You know, I don't mind saying this. In this business, since I've been in, I've outdone Ric Flair 100 to 1 in drawing money. And that's what the, you know, that's what the name of the game is. Mm -hmm. I've been main event where he had never, hadn't been really main event for a long time. I was main event 90% of my career. Mm -hmm. You know, so even more than that. And if it wasn't main event, they put me in the main event anyway because Ric Flair and those people couldn't follow me. So if there were anything it sounded like to me, someone's feelings were hurt. Hmm. You know, uh, team player, Arn has to know I'm a team player because he worked as an agent. You know, when I was in, you know, working for WCW, they'd come to me, I did a job every night. Right. You know, I never had a problem with that. So it sounds like just a little problem with everyone that I didn't do the horseman thing.